Hey guys, Johnny with RV SWAT, and I'm just about to hit the road. I'm getting the truck ready to go do another run. So I thought I'd turn the camera on real quick and show you guys how I have the truck set up for RV transporting. So stick around, I'll show it to you. All right, I thought we would start inside the truck. So to the left here is where my phone mount is at. Um, I was using my phone for navigation, but I'll show you. I think I'm, I'm gonna change that in just a minute. But uh, my mount here for my phone, we have a plug in the cigarette lighter here that gives me three more 12 volt cigarette lighter plugs and four USB. And that is because I run, well, I run my charger off the USB for the phone mount. I also have a tablet mount here this is where i put my ipad which i'm going to start using for navigation i just got me an ipad today uh, so i'll have all my work apps on the ipad and one day i'll show you guys all the apps i use uh, for transporting i have a bag full of food and snacks and stuff here and i have a 12 volt cooler for this cooler plugs into the cigarette lighter keep all my cokes and waters and stuff in there and groceries that i get on the road so we got us a cooler there and we have our e-pass up there for the toll roads and let's see what else we have in here uh, there's my folder where i keep all my paperwork my bols and settlements and receipts and everything going there and then I'll show you guys the setup in the back. This is a temporary setup here. Right now I have, this is an air mattress uh, that I have. You can see I got just a little bench built along that goes all the way across the bottom. And that way it supports the air mattress here. So I got my air mattress, my sleeping bag, my pillow over there so this is where i'm sleeping at night now this is temporary um, i'm going to pull the seat completely out and when i pull the seat completely out it's going to open up all this space where the seat goes so it's going to give me a lot wider base i'll be able to fit a full uh full size mattress back here width wise anyway i have to cut some off the lamp and then all this will turn into storage underneath for my clothes and everything that right now I carry in a duffel bag up front. So that's a project probably coming in a couple weeks. I'm gonna pull the seat out, build a bed frame back here, custom order a custom built mattress, a memory foam mattress for back here. All right. So that's the sleeping quarters for now. I also added this one. This is a hundred 118 gallon auxiliary fuel tank and i have it set up on a gravity feed system gravity fed system all i have to do is crack this valve open and then that starts uh gravity starts pulling fuel from this tank down into my fuel tank on the truck so with this 118 gallon plus the 30 gallon i think it's a 30 gallon that's on the truck so I carry roughly about 150 gallons of fuel. Now, I will say, out of all the modifications I've done to this truck, what I've learned so far, but this is my biggest, if you're going to do this business and you're just trying to decide what to invest in, make auxiliary fuel tank your number one choice. Uh, this thing is, it opens up so much for you. Uh, I can go almost... Well, even under a load, I can go 800 to 800 to close to a thousand miles before I have to fuel. So I get to pick and choose where I fuel up at. Without this tank, I would be filling up about every 200, 250 miles. And you just pay whatever price you're at whenever you're running out of fuel. But I can look at my whole route and look at all the fuel costs along that route with our discounts, with our company cards. And uh, I can choose the lowest fuel cost is where i'm going to fill up at so this this thing saves me money 
I've only done three runs, but I guarantee this thing is probably, uh, it's gonna be close to paying for itself within the first couple of months. Then we have our fifth wheel hitch. This is a B&W Companion fifth wheel hitch. And then we have a low profile toolbox. So now that way the fifth wheel hitch sits above the toolbox so it doesn't get in the way whenever I go to hook up the fifth wheel. All of this stuff I added to the truck. This was all installed by a company in Indiana called uh, Dan's Service Center or Dan's Hitch. And they installed all of this stuff for me. Other than the fifth wheel hitch, uh, I got that installed in Fort Payne actually. And then they also installed the weight distribution hitch on the back for whenever I'm doing bumper pulls. So I've done two bumper pulls on this one so far and I've pulled one fifth wheel uh, for work and then I've also pulled our fifth wheel to get here. So that's the truck setup. It's everything I've done to the truck so far. I do have some plans to add some stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna build the frame out in the back. This is the other side. I'm gonna build the frame out back here to put the full size bed in the back. I'm also going to take out the stock stereo system and I'm gonna put in a, a touchscreen stereo that has Apple CarPlay. Uh, that way I can do a lot of my navigation and stuff on the on the screen there through Apple CarPlay plus all my you know audio books and audio stuff that I listen to when I'm traveling. Um, like I said I showed you my cooler and then the tablet mount is just a cup holder mount that I set in the cooler. So that works out pretty well. And then my duffel bag full of clothes there. And then I have a laundry bag under here that I keep dirty laundry in. And then my taller trees bag right there. And that's about it, guys. So if you plan on doing this, this will kind of give you an idea of how we have the truck set up. And I uh, hope you can get started. If you need anything, comment below. Ask any questions you have. I'll help you as much as I can, even though I'm, I'm still learning myself. But uh, if you have any suggestions on what I can do on setting this truck up to be more comfortable over the road, uh, let me know in the comments below. And we will see you guys in the next video.